market for photography can be one of the most exciting things to happen to you early in your career. I mean, it potentially means you could live off of your creativeness. And look, making money is not everyone's end goal. Me personally, I like using photography as a creative outlet. And making money is in the very back of my mind. If we want to start charging for our photography, then we have to watch this video all the way through. Because today we'll be learning about what pitfalls to avoid and how to set yourself up for success. Hey, before we get started, give this video a like. Now let's jump in. Photography has the potential to be a very lucrative skill. Personally, I know wedding photographers that charge $2,000 for each event. And last time I checked, people get married year round. All right, let's do some math. If you were to charge that much for each session and you can book two events a month for a whole year, let's see, that's carry the one. That's a lot of money. Take those money goggles off and come back to reality. The reason why that photographer can charge that much is because the level of skill that he can bring and the professionalism that comes with it too. Let me give you an example. A few months ago, I was asked to do some portrait photography for a family and I was brimming with confidence because I was on a roll and my street photography was starting to really catch on. So I said yes. Luckily, I offered to do it for free because the atrocity that I produced that day was beyond embarrassing. I mean, I got everything wrong. I wish I could show you the end results, but you'll just have to take my word for it. The reason this happened was because I was way underprepared. I ordered so many things off of Amazon. I ordered backdrops, lights, stands, clamps, you name it. And I never practiced once. So of course I failed miserably. I thought that it would be just as easy as doing street photography, and I was wrong. And this brings me to my second point. Hey you, if you're enjoying this video, subscribe so you'll never miss out. Our word and reputation as photographers is worth everything. Had I charged them and produced whatever the heck I produced that day, my reputation would have been smashed. I mean, it's a small world and word travels fast. And look, even though I didn't charge a single cent that day, my reputation still took a hit because I was touting myself as a good photographer. And I know those pictures were shown to other people. And if those people saw those pictures, they wouldn't want nothing to do with me. Listen, learn from my mistake. Don't offer anything that you have no background in. And if our credibility gets destroyed, we might never have the chance to make money off of something that we really enjoy, something we have a lot of passion in. This is why knowing when to charge is so important. Look, I'll never tell anybody when they should start charging, but what I can do is try to set you up for success for when you do decide to do it yourself. So first things, we have to have the skills to have a phenomenal session every single time and not just the photography portion. Interacting with clients is a huge part of any business. And guess what? Now that you're charging, your business. I mean, think about it. Why do we like going to our favorite restaurants, our, our favorite stores? It's usually because of the people there. They make the difference. Another thing to have in the bag is have a bunch of quality sessions in the style that's being requested. Imagine if you went to a tattoo artist and you wanted a certain style and you look through their portfolio and they don't have a single piece in that style that you want. Would you still feel comfortable getting that tattoo? And last, know what you're gonna include in your package and pricing. It's very important to establish consistency early on in your career. And look, these are the bare minimum requirements. If you have anything to add, please do so in the comments. Look, getting paid for your work can change your life. Imagine living off of your love for photography. If you follow what we learned today, you'll be setting yourself up for success and breeze right by those dangerous pitfalls that so many people fall into. Now that I got you thinking, get out there and pursue your passion. <laughs>